Hi, I'm Eric Edelman for Pro Football Weekly here at the Missouri Pro Day with Missouri quarterback Blaine Gabbert. Blaine, you had a script of 50 throws. Cut it down by one throw because of an injury. Completed 44 of the throws, a couple drops in there. I think only one overthrow that I counted. How did you feel you did? Oh, I felt great. Uh, the biggest thing was to come out here and show people that I made that transition uh, from under center, uh, from or to under center yeah. from the shotgun. And, I thought I answered a bunch of questions today. Yeah, you went to the combine and said, be patient, I'll go to my pro day, I'll make those throws, the deep comebacks, the deep outs, the bang eights, all those pro throws. How many of those throws were new to you, would you say? Uh, I mean, we all throw, everybody throws those types of throws in college. Um, nothing was really new, it was just different footwork uh, coming from under center. So the transition went extremely smoothly and uh, the receivers did a great job today. And those receivers were from other schools, guys you were too familiar with, so very impressive. One guy you have been familiar with, Terry, Terry Shea, you've been working with him for I think about 10 weeks now. How has that process gone from day one to this point as far as working with an NFL coach uh, like that? It's been awesome. Coach Shea is a great coach and an even better person. And having the opportunity to work with him uh, for the last 10 weeks, uh, he's definitely helped me mature as a person and as a football player. And, uh, he's done a great job. You can see his track record with quarterbacks in the past. And it was fun to go out there and uh, do well for him today. And when he throws you up on the board, is it, uh, does he throw any tricks at you? Is it anything you haven't seen concept-wise? Oh, he, he definitely throws all the NFL terminology at me and all the plays. But I think I've done a pretty good job uh, making that transition so far. When I talked to Sam Bradford a year ago. He said pass protections were the mm -hmm. thing that he was most concerned about heading into the pros. Is that something you think that's pretty high on your list of concerns? Yeah, there are a bunch of different protections. Uh, a bunch of kill audibles and we had a quite a few at Mizzou um, just like I said it's the terminology that's the biggest thing that we all got to make that adjustment to. What are you most proud of at Mizzou? 18 and 8 record, two bowl games, one win. I mean what, what stood out as far as uh, what you're most proud of at Mizzou? The biggest thing was this past season when we beat Oklahoma at home. We hadn't won homecoming in a while. We hadn't beat a number one team in the country in I think 40, 50 years and uh, Coach Mingle had never beat Oklahoma or Texas, so that was special beating them at home, having the students rush the field and tear down the goalposts. It was a great moment for Mizzou fans. Mm -hmm. Today, there were six head coaches, six NFL head coaches, I believe uh, several more general managers as well. You're in consideration for the number one pick. Have you thought about the pressure that comes along with possibly being a number one or a top five selection? No, not at all. Uh, I talked with Coach Ryan today from the New York Jets, and he said, have fun with it. Be a kid every day, and that's the only way you can go about your business because it's, it's not going to last forever. There's an X amount of time on your career and uh, just get better every day and have fun doing it. Okay, last couple questions here. I know there's been a lot of talk about possibly boycotting the draft, guys like that. Will you attend the draft if, if asked? Or do you know what your decision might be? I figured you guys were going to ask that question. I'm not educated on the subject at this point in time and think they're going to get things worked out. There's plenty of time from now until the draft, about a month and a half for them to uh, come to terms on the whole CBA and on willing to do whatever they want me to. Okay, and state your case and as quickly as you can uh, for being that number one pick. I think you want to be that guy. I think you absolutely want to be at the top of the draft. What makes you that, that, that guy to be the number one pick? I answered all the questions today about my footwork, so that's checked off. And I'm just the quarterback who's going to come out, work hard every day, and get better. Just, I'm still a work in progress, and that's how all quarterbacks should be. They always should have that mindset and that goal to come out to practice and get better at something. Only three shotgun attempts today. The rest were under center. He looked good with his footwork, completed a lot of passes. Blaine Gabbert, thank you very much for Pro Football Weekly.